Egg fall. Imagine that you are on the roof of the building of physics at 46 meters from the ground. Your teacher, who is 1.80 meters tall, walks next to the building at a constant speed of 1.20 meters per second. If you want to drop an egg on your teacher's head, where should it be when you drop the egg? Suppose that the egg is free fall. The first thing we need to find out is the distance that the egg will travel to fall on the teacher's head. So we are looking for the value of y minus the initial value. The egg must fall 44.2 meters, dropping it from the ground, free fall. The time it takes for the egg to fall is the time it takes for the teacher to arrive at the door. When we drop something in free fall, we notice that its initial speed is going to be zero, so this term is going to be nullified. I minus the initial value is the distance that the egg will travel. But we are going to nullify this value. The goal now would be to transfer this equation and clear it. We can clear the known data. We know the distance that the egg will travel, which is 44.2 meters. The initial speed, which is zero, the time is the unknown, plus a half times the acceleration, which would be the gravity, in y, times the square. So we substitute. To clear it, we realize that zero times the time is still zero. That no longer affects us. Now the two is going to multiply because it is dividing. It would multiply to 44.2 meters. We also know that 9.8 meters per second squared, which multiplies, is going to divide. If we subtract the square root of all this, we will have the time. The dimensional meters with meters is nullified and we have only seconds to the square. But when we take the square root, then it will give us a time of three exact seconds. As we know that the teacher must be at the entrance of the building when the egg falls on his head, we have to find out what distance he will be from the building when the student drops the egg which will be three seconds the time it will take to fall and reach up to the height of 44.2 meters, which is exactly in the head of the teacher. So we can find out the distance in x by writing it as follows. We know the speed that the teacher has, which is constant when walking, and also the time that will be three seconds. Then we substitute the data. Giving a result of 3.60 meters which means that when the teacher is at a distance of 3.60 meters, the student must drop the egg and these 3.60 meters, the teacher will 
take three seconds to reach the door of the building, and at that moment the egg will be reaching the head of the student, thus solving the problem.